Hello everyone, this is Seçkin Girgin. Today I'm going to give you some information on IELTS Writing Task 1 Academic. Let's move on to some quick facts first. As you know, the test duration is 20 minutes and we are expected to use at least 150 words to accomplish the task. Let's check out the assessment part as well. There are four key factors here which are grammatical range and accuracy, task achievement, lexical resource, coherence and cohesion. Grammatical range and accuracy refers to the good use of grammar, so we shouldn't make grammatical mistakes. Um, task achievement is, uh, we shouldn't divert from the task. We shouldn't include our own opinions or other facts in our writing. Lexical resource refers to the good use of vocabulary. Coherence and cohesion refers to the organization of our writing. So we should the effective use of sentence connectors and our, let's say, ideas or how we organize our ideas. So let's give some information about the tasks. There are three main tasks which are asked. Data set, map and diagram. First, data set. Data set is a line graph or a bar chart, pie chart or table. As you can see, this is a line graph here. The other one is a pie chart. We see them in elections usually. This is a bar chart and this is a table. Sometimes we are given two bar charts, two line graphs, or sometimes we are given one table and a bar chart. So these variations are all possible. The second task is maps. We usually compare two maps in our writing. And uh, as you can see from the samples here, we are usually given two cities or two towns or two countries in different years. And usually it's past and present or sometimes it's present and future like projections. Uh, what we are asked to do is to compare these two maps and write the differences or the similarities. The last one is diagrams. As you can see, in diagrams, we are usually asked to write a process writing. What is process writing? In a process writing, we are usually given a process like the production of chocolate or the production of electricity or how wind is produced via wind turbines. And when we are given the diagram, we are asked to define what is going on in the diagram of course, here again, we are not going to include our own opinions in the writing. So these are the tasks that are usually asked in IELTS exam task one. But please note that data set is more often asked than maps and diagrams. So if you're studying for IELTS task one, please spend more time studying line graphs, bar charts, pie charts, or tables. So, how to approach the task? So, you could simply divide your passage into three sections. So, in the first section, tell what you see. In the second section, give a quick overview of the map or the diagram or the table. And then, finally, give details. So, I'm going to give you some uh, details about it. So, as you can see in the example, that there are three bakeries here in London, and they're uh, annual earnings, yearly earnings, and how much money they make in a year is presented. So, when we look at this line graph, first we gotta tell what we say in our own words, of course. Let's have a look at the example in detail now. This is the first section. The first section is usually one or two sentences, and I'm usually uh, writing what I see in the graph or the diagram or the map. So here is what I see. The graph shows information about the amount of money which was earned by three bakeries in London over a 10 year period. Um, here you could also use the instructions, okay? Like these. So in, uh, in some cases you could also use some alternative words like apart from using, rather than using annual, you could use yearly. Uh, rather than using earning, you could use profit, or for this time, you could use a decade, okay? Uh, as we are done with the first part of our writing, we can move on to the second one. 
when we have a look at the second one, as you can see, I'm talking about the general trend here. So the general trend is here um, that two bakeries made money, I mean, increased their profits, whereas one bakery lost money in that period. So as you can see here, what stands out from the graph is that there were considerable upward trends in income. Okay, good. So these two bakeries were making money, whereas this one was losing money. So this is what I see. This is the general overview of what I see in the task. Um, let's have a look at the third and the last section. The last section will be dedicated to the details. So the details will, will, could be like this. So when you have a look at the um, chart here, the graph here, you could see several trends here, like the, let's have a look at the blue one. It goes up first, then down, then up again, and down. So, and there's a downward trend, then it leveled out. So first I could take the blue one, the Bernie's Bakery, talk about it in details, year by year. Then I could move on to the red one, which is Robin's Bakery, then we could move on to the other one. So in details part, we are giving as many details as possible, of course, without diverting from the topic. Okay, so that's what we do. Um, in, this, in this video, I just wanted to give you some brief information on how we could organize our uh, writing. Um, in our next videos, I'm also going to give some quick information on maps and diagrams. Uh, so, see you again. Bye.